Hey folks, it's Grey Man again, showing off my birthday haul. Uh, showed you the Marvel last time. I've got a little, I've got a slightly smaller pile of DC because um, I said a lot of the older DC books, a lot of the DC books I've got. There are still plenty of runs I need to pick up, but uh, I don't know. Just it wasn't like a planned thing. Just the Marvels all going for a quid each, so I've got more of them. Uh, so I started off. I got the Terrifics Annual. This is one of the modern books that I'm collecting. I'm not collecting that many modern books. And I'm not really after them in any kind of major way but eventually i might pick up all of the um the new age of superheroes because they didn't run for that long i've got a couple of silencer i've got a sideways i've got the terrifics who are one of the new age as well and i might try and see if i can pick up all of them and what i saw of that damage looked quite good as well and i'm pretty sure they're all cheap books as well so eventually i might try and collect them all but anyway this is the terrifics annual uh then we've got the book of fate Bit of an old one now, not a super old, but I think it's the 90s, yeah, 97. But I've always liked Dr. Fate, and I know this was a new uh, iteration of uh, Fate, where he basically changed up uh, Dr. Fate. The helmet of Naboo became his blade and his uh, throwing anks. And I think the cloak became, I don't know, some kind of shield or something. He wrapped it around his arm, the cloak. Uh, you can see he's got the anks there, actually piercing his flesh. Like He's got like a, I don't know, he's got some piercings going on. Yeah. Very nineties, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I had a couple. I had most of them already. There's about four I was missing, and I picked up three of them. The so number one, number two, uh, number eleven. I only need number twelve now from this run uh, to complete my book of fate. But I didn't realize there's a book of fate, and there was a fate. So I've got a few more of that fate to collect as well. But then they're, they're cheap books to pick up, so it's you know it's good. Right, I've got some nice cheap action comics as well. Just a couple, only a pound each. Can't say no for a quid. I've got a certain run of um, Superman that, you know, that I'm after as well. Certain run of Action Comics, certain run of uh, Man of Tomorrow, all the different uh, Superman titles. And to be honest, if I did manage to fill up the, the run that I've got it planned at the moment, I'd start working backwards because, you know, you can't beat some old Superman action in Action Comics. All right, this one, right, number 210 of The Flash. Got a few more Flash from my Flash run. Looks in looks in pretty rough nick actually. There's a little bit of stuff hanging off it. It's a bit creased up. It's a bit stained maybe, but this is uh, the Flash, two hundred and ten for a pound, and it's like there's no way I'm leaving that behind. It turned out it was in my um, my run anyway. I'm, I feel like the run I'm going for Flash is like from this uh, Barry Allen. I'm going from one fifty to the end. Uh, I've still got a fair few to go, but they they normally you can normally pick them up fairly cheap. And a forty eight page. One for a pound, right? The, the cover is look, even the cover is cr screwed up in the corner there. I think you can see that. Oh, I'll show you the wrong corner. Oh, show the right corner. Oh, there it is. I was showing the right corner. There you go, it's all a bit cruised up, even. But for a quid, no way I'm put, turning that down. And there's another another flash with the golden glider, was um, quite an enemy for a while. She she found out his identity. She was messing with his with his um wife. Yeah, all kinds of shenanigans. Right, the Flash versus Captain Boomerang. And Flash on the old uh what's it called? Time not time pedestal. Time not time running machine. What was it called? It was a running machine. But it had a name that you could you need run the time treadmill. That was it. The time treadmill. <laughs> awesome stuff. Right, pick myself up a Hellblazer. I've got a few Hellblazers that I still need to pick up. Uh, a lot of them in the lower numbers, but this was the last one that I hadn't had before, number 62. So I managed to pick that one up. First thing I thought when I saw it is got Steve Dillon on a tombstone. And it was like, oh, yeah, because he's died, isn't he? Steve Dillon a couple of years ago now, I think. And the other creators on the tombstone as well, Glenn Fabry, Garth Ennis, you know, 
eventually it will become true, of course. <laughs> Quite maudlin. Right, a few Justice League Americas. Oh, yeah. One, two, seven. Hoping to get this run done at some point. Beautiful old JLA covers. I love the logo from the old Justice League of America. It's just, it's just great stuff. Just a, it's a big fat logo. It's a big chunky logo. That was number one for me, by the way. I love the blinking team all up there at the top. The old school DC logo in the middle. When I don't even remember this logo. This is before I was collecting comics. I remember the DC bullet as it was called. Um, yeah, but still not. I do like that nice logo though. That nice old logo. This looks like the guy in the middle there looks like an amount owl magam of all the uh, heroes together. It's got Flashy's legs, Hawkman's head. Not too sure what the body's meant to be. Right, uh, another Justice League. Adam Strange, Enemy of Earth. <laughs> They've crossed that hero of Ran and put Enemy of Earth in its place. Another old uh, DC logo. Adam Strange is always cool. I've always like Adam Strange. But now, I, to be honest, there's not many characters I don't like, to be honest. There's a few. I just noticed this has been signed. Not by uh, not by somebody who is uh, <laughs> not by somebody who wrote the comic either. Stoma head it looks like something head Toma head. Oh well, never mind. Right, uh, one nine seven. Justice League of America. Cool. I love that I used to always split up into like teams of two. There's always whatever the the an emergency was, it always required the team to split up into twos and they'd break up the comic book into the, each individual partnerships, uh dealings with what they had to deal with. I love that for some reason. I always found I know it was a trope they did it over and over again. I always found it very endearing. Right now, Invisibles. I had all the Invisibles apart from this one. This is from series two. Series two, this is number fourteen. For some reason this was missed out by my comic shop when I was uh, when I used to collect it. So now I have fully completed my invisibles run. And then lastly, a couple of green lanterns. I've got twenty seven more green lanterns from my proposed uh, run that I'm trying to do, which is seventy to the end of the run basically. And then maybe after that I'll work down from seventy if I see them going cheap and if I've got the money there you go saw this in someone's hall recently actually definitely saw this online recently I can't remember who picked it up but one of the haul videos that I saw I saw that I thought that was nice so very happy to pick that up today for a couple of quid and finally Green Lantern number 142 side by side with the most sensational new superstars of all the Amiga Men let those who worship evil's might beware his power, Green Lantern. There you go. So that's all me DCs, me dearios. Okay, we interrupt this video to show a couple of other DCs that I picked up recently. And my gorgeous Lisa is going to model them for you. So <laughs> she's going to hide behind the comments because she's shy. So this is Green Lantern 106. Next one, please, Lisa. <laughs> Justice League of America, number 201. Lovely cover there. Ultra is back. <laughs> Try not to cover the comics with your fingers too much. Right, actually, next one, please, sweetie. <laughs> and then we have another great Justice League of America, number 207. These aren't in the most fantastic of Nick, but they were cheap, which is what I like. <laughs> next one, please, gorgeous. Uh, and here's a, oh, you need to saw a face then. That was a per per degaton there. It's per degaton on the front of that one. Uh, number two hundred and nine. I love the uh, cover with all the characters all around the sides. That's so that's so beautiful. That's really cool. Our next one called you love love love. love. <laughs> I'm babbling now. Right, two hundred and thirteen. <laughs> Justice League of America. It's got a little label on it, but whatever. 
It only cost me a quid or something. Uh, next one, please. I think this might be like yeah, this one. Someone's written fifteen on the bloody cover in pen. I don't think that'll ever come off. But you know, I've still you can still see the uh, the cover of fine. And I think that was all of them on the page. Is that the last one? Yeah, we're back to the beginning. So that's it. That's the all my DCs. And there's Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> That I picked up in my most recent haul, my birthday comic books. Not, they're not birthday books, as in they come out on my birthday, but they're birthdays as I bought them on my birthday. I've actually still got a few more birthday books that I need to pick up. I've um, got a couple of, like, um, uh, um, Looney Tune ones. I've, I've got a, a Bugs Bunny and a Daffy Duck comic that I want to pick up at some point, simply because they came out in the month of my birth. Uh, yeah, this you know, not expensive, and it'd be nice to have them in my collection, to be honest. Just just because they came out the same month as I did, and I think there's a showcase that I need to pick up with. I can't remember who the character was now. Originally, I wasn't going to bother because it was like a Western kind of character, and I wasn't going to bother connecting it. But I thought, oh, actually, I might as well. So I've got all the books on my birth month, you know. Anyway, so that's my DC. And um, I might be back soon because um, there's another comic shop where I've still got half my birthday money to spend. So I might, I might check out this other shop and, uh, you know, see what I can see kind of thing. See if I can find any nice comics to buy. Well, I'm going to do a shout out to a channel that I've uh, subbed recently. Um, can't remember an awful lot about them actually. They're called Titans Review. Titans Review. I know I've subbed them recently. I know they haven't got that many subs the last time I looked. And I know they could do some comic book community camaraderie. No, it's just comic community camaraderie, isn't it? That's the way. The CCC, the comic community... No, yeah, comic community camaraderie. So if you want to help out a little channel, go and give them a sub. They're called Titans Review. The link will be in the description and they'll be up in the corner somewhere as well. You can just click on it, go and add them. They will appreciate you um, visiting them and, uh, you know, becoming a new fan. And that's it. That's it for this uh, this video. Cheers for watching. I shall be back some other time. Until then, may all your news be good news. <laughs>